Hey guys, CB Super. Um, today I want to go over something a little bit different. I actually made my own tool. It's called a paint trace tool. I wanted to show it to you guys real quick. Maybe something that you guys would be interested in. It's totally free. If you want to go, there's a link in the description that shows you uh, just where to go download it. It's, you just download it from my Dropbox. I don't know how to like a website yet or anything where you guys can go and like, I don't know, buy merchandise or anything like that. Um, all I have is the Dropbox. So you guys are more than welcome to it. Um, let me show you how to use it real quick and what the function is. It only really has like one function and that is to be a paint trace. So first just make a background and then bring in a paint node. And as normal, like, you know, you could take the alpha down on the background to make it transparent. If I click on the paint node, you'll see, okay, there's the paint. That's cool. Command Z that. Say you want to see the actual, like, uh, paint on the next frame over so you could better get, like, really close to it. Like, I can kind of get kind of close. I can flip back and forth. The problem is that I don't want to make this, like, two frames duration that's going to continue even if i was to go and later on make the the stroke duration one frame it's still going to be two frames the duration doesn't change so i mean I, and i know there are some scripts out there where you can use this script to go back and modify things in the stroke modify you can always come in here and you can kind of like modify some of the strokes but i mean to be honest like that's that seems like a lot of work just to, you know, just to be able to see your stroke. So I came up with a little node and it's super easy. And, and actually I have another video that shows how I made this node and turned it into a macro. And you guys are more than welcome. It's going to be like up here in the right hand screen. You can click on that if you want to go check out how I actually made it. Or if you just want to make your own and you don't want to download it from mine. I mean, I don't get anything from you guys downloading. I just thought maybe it would help. So in order to use it, all you have to do is shift space and... The node is actually called the uh, the paint trace, and you can find it here. Um, once you load it into your macro folder, and again, though in the description it'll tell you like where your macro folder is, and all you have to do is just copy and paste it in there. Um, and then once you load it in, it just has two inputs and then an output. And the output is super simple. The output just goes into whatever merge node your footage. So this is our footage for today. Um, and the paint trace just goes outputs into the merge node. And then from the paint node, you do the uh, you grab the output from the paint node, and you just drop it in twice into the uh, the paint trace node, and and that's because it has a time delay, and it also has a merge node. So and then if you click on the paint trace, there I only have like three options in here. I have an apply mode. Say you want to do a change the apply mode because um, the trace isn't. Uh, coming up very well for whatever reason. You can also mess with the trace blend. This is going to be how bright you see the actual trace and then the delay. I set it to just one frame but if say if you wanted it at like a five frame delay because you're only animating on every fifth frame double click in here and you can you know type in whatever number say if you want five frames type in five frames. Uh, I'm going to use it at one frame for now because it's kind of the way I set it up. And I'm also going to leave the trace blend at like 0.457. All right, so now if I click over on the paint node and I go ahead and make a, a stroke, you'll notice that when I go to the next frame, I see a slightly transparent stroke of the last stroke. So now on my next stroke, say if I wanted to get it like really close and I wanted to be really detailed, I have that option and I can keep, I'm just using my right arrows to go forward one frame. Again, going forward one frame forward one frame and I can pretty much do this forever uh, and if for whatever reason say I want to I want this paint trace to be it's just not it's just not showing up very well I can always just turn up the trace blend which is really just um, a blend uh, and then I can go back to the paint and I can maybe make another stroke and now you'll see okay cool like it's it's a little bit brighter I can if I want it say just as bright as the the ones that I'm actually working on I can do that and then uh, you know so it's pretty easy to use uh, pretty easy node I mean it's gonna be the color whatever the same color is that you're using in the paint so if I'm using red um, you know it's gonna be red uh, if you want, I mean, and feel free to come in here and mess with it. You can come into the paint trace and if you right click and you come up to macro and you can go to paint trace macro, you can actually come in here and you can change it, you know, however you want. If you want to change things so that now you have like options for color or you have, you know, options in the, uh, in the time speed, you know, I mean, you'll notice like there's, there's a bunch of different, like there's background in here, there's a merge node, a time speed. I mean, there's really like not a whole lot of nodes. Um, and then you, all, all you have to do is if you want to save that, you just close it up. You know, here's kind of a neat thing about macros too. Like if you just hover over the macro, it, 
it tells you, okay, Paint Trace 1 contains four tools, background, a merge, a merge, and a time speed. So, I mean, that's pretty simple. Like, you know, if you ever wanted to like recreate this without going to that other video, you could just, you know, easily recreate it. And here's the great thing about this is uh, when you're all done with that and you want to get rid of the Paint Trace, all you have to do is click on it and then delete it. And then now all of your animations, they're just going to be the normal one frame animations. So you can play through them and you can, you know, it's just a really easy way to have like an onion skin effect, but without having to create it yourself, you know, and it's something you could probably use time and time again, whenever you guys are doing like any of that media blotter, uh, cool, like music video paints where you just want to be able to get a little bit more detailed maybe. All right. So I hope that helped. Uh, if you guys like that, make sure to like, and subscribe, hit that bell notification and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.